Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface on the beta for the next World of Warcraft expansion, Legion. Now, there's no secret that you can currently, on the live servers, solo world bosses from Mists of Pandaria. But with that said, I think it's definitely more of the few as opposed to the many that can do this. Shar of Anger itself has got quite a finicky little system where you get a debuff, you got to jump out, move a certain distance away for it to fall off, yada, yada, yada. Now then, come Legion, 45 odd seconds, first boss dead, you'll be able to absolutely spank these world bosses on your own. So you might be saying to yourself, well, it's, you know, great as that you've shown us how to smash a world boss, you know, but what does it actually get me? Well, as I move from the Shah of Anger over to Galleon, who's the second of the four world bosses in Mists of Pandaria, why anyone would think there were three is beyond me. The point is, all of the world bosses in the Mists of Pandaria expansion dropped mounts. So this is your perfect opportunity when you hit top level in Legion to get out there, smash these creatures down and grab yourself a sexy rare mount because these mounts are very rare indeed. Still, even though we've gone through Mr. Pandaria and through Warlords of Draenor, Okay, so you might be saying to yourself, yeah, but you know, you're, you're a big powerful character, you're smashing them down and it's not realistic as opposed to what we'll be able to do. Well, the simple fact of the matter is, yes, my character is top level, which is level 110, but the item level of this character is 848. Now, if we compare that with the live item levels, that sounds massive and you can completely and utterly understand why these world bosses are being smashed down. But the simple fact of the matter is, this is relatively basic gear. In actual fact, it's under the item level of what will be dropping in Raid Finder, in the very first raid that's released in Legion. So literally, my character is kind of like epic in the first round of noobism when it comes to Legion. It's when you kind of get to top level of an expansion and manage to grab yourself a few bunch of epics and then you think you're the dog's bollocks. And then the raid comes out and you're shit again. Uh, so it's, it's a very, very obtainable item level within a few weeks of the release of Legion, and that will give you the perfect opportunity, as Nalak falls as I hit the three minute mark of the video, to grab yourselves these mounts. And then finally, we have Undaster. Now Undaster has a very special place in my heart. Number one, because it was part of patch 5.2, the patch which I think is the best patch that World of Warcraft has ever created. Will that be the same after 7.0 though? You'll have to stick around for my review of Legion a little bit later in a few weeks time. But of course, Undaster was the annihilator of raid groups. There were times you could have three raid groups together in an attempt to bring down this behemoth and it would crush you all. And it was that brief moment in time that we thought, yes, Blizzard have decided to make World of Warcraft tough again. And then they went, Shit, no, this is crashing our servers. Let's nerf it down to the ground and make it killable with one singular raid group. But for at least a short period of time, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. But having the ability to go over to a creature like Undaster and solo it without any problems whatsoever is absolutely incredible. So this is it, folks, your perfect opportunity Four mounts, four rare mounts are up for grabs here when Legion releases simply by soloing these world bosses and as Duster falls, four and a half minutes odd of fight time and that is it. Goodness gracious me. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links, they're in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.